examples of first and follow assuming that we have the following grammar s derives opening bracket l closing bracket slash a l derives s l dash where l dash derives epsilon slash comma s l dash here the terminals are opening bracket closing bracket small a comma right these are the terminals now if you want to find the first of s l and l dash this is s this is l and this is l dash you want to find the first of these numbers the first of s is opening bracket and small a because you know if, if you drive any string uh, uh, if you create any string from s then that string will either start with opening bracket or that string will either start with small a okay so this is the first of s now if you want to find the first of l then you can see the production is like this l drive s l dash now this further this s can either be replaced by opening bracket l closing bracket so the first symbol will be uh, opening bracket or this s can be replaced by small a therefore for this l the first is opening bracket and a okay now for this l dash you can see this l dash containing epsilon so epsilon sh should be there in the first and if there is no epsilon then it is comma so comma should be there okay so this is these are the two uh, first of l dash okay so this is the first of s all these productions now assuming that we have the following grammar s derives s derives a b d h where b derives small c capital c c derives b c slash epsilon d derives e f e derives g slash epsilon and f derives f slash epsilon assuming that this is the given grammar and we need to find the first of all these things okay now let us take them one by one so what is the first of s first of s can be small a only what is the first of b it is small c because it is already starting with the terminal the first of c can be small b or it can be epsilon okay because epsilon is there therefore the first should contain epsilon and the other production is containing small b is uh, in the beginning because small b is a terminal so it should be small b then first of d the first of d is dependent on e that means whatever the first of e that will also be the first of d so first of d uh, this e can be replaced by g this e can be replaced by epsilon this if this e is replaced by epsilon then only we are going to check the first of f the first of f is f and epsilon okay now for e the first of e can be g or epsilon and the first of f f can be small f or epsilon these are the first of these productions okay now let me take one more example assuming that grammar is like this s can derive a a a b slash b b b a and a can derive epsilon capital b can derive epsilon now we need to find the first of all these productions s uh, we have s a and b the first of s can be given by this one see this if this a is replaced by epsilon then the first symbol will be small a so small a is there if this b is replaced by epsilon therefore the first symbol can be small b therefore the first of s is small a and small b for sm a capital a and capital b the first is epsilon and epsilon so these are the first of these symbols okay now in the next video let us try to see how to find the follow of a given production